welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what we eat in a day, what we eat in a day, both mom and toddler. Sydney is, how old is she now? Oh my gosh, 20 months as of the 8th, so wow, 20 months old now. That's mind blowing to say. Anyway, so I'm gonna take you through what we've eaten today so far this morning. Sydney just woke up from her nap, like I said, and we are about to have some lunch, so I will make her some food, and she is requesting cheese like always if you like these types of videos give it a thumbs up check out all of my other videos as i've done previously on what she's eaten and what i've eaten in the days all those videos make sure you are subscribed to my channel with your notifications turned on i am doing a video every single day for the entire month so make sure you stay tuned for those and without further ado let's jump into what we've eaten so far today. Mommy. Walk through the fire, the sound of a lion. I found my way back in the end. Baby, I've fallen for you and the way you make me feel. Don't need to pretend that I'm somebody else. With you, I can't be myself. That sure is something else. So Sydney is having some of those eggs and I just put some whole grain like knockoff Cheerios, <laughs> no brand, Cheerios and she will have that with the rest of her milk and then when she finishes her milk she can have some water. Um, and then when she gets a little ways through this I will give her some fruit. You want, you want water now? Is it so good? Your eggs are so good? love you and then mama's plate I just sometimes I mean it's nine sometimes I don't really eat breakfast until like 10 or 11 later a little later so I'm sipping on my coffee and I'm eating a little bit of the eggs that I made Sydney and then maybe in a little bit I'll have some of that apple bread but I think I think I'll just stick with the eggs for now Blueberries, don't you? Mm. Camera. B B. Can you say berry? Mm, berry. Mm. Mm hmm. The sound of a lion I found my way back in the end Okay, what do you want for lunch? Cheese. Cheese. Peach. As she's always requesting. All right, we'll get you some cheese. What else do you want? Lunch. What else do you want with, with lunch? You're hungry. You're just hungry. You want mama to pick your lunch and give you some cheese too? 
All right, so like, like I said, Sydney just woke up from her nap. Um, I'm going to get her some water, and I'll probably make, I'll probably make a sandwich for both of us. Um, she's starving. She, when she wakes up from her nap, she's like cranky. Give me food now. We'll give you some cheese. She literally could not wait until I made a sandwich, so I gave her a little block of Colby cheese or cheddar, or whatever it is. I think it's Colby. Uh, geez, while I make the sandwich, I just I just knew it was she was gonna scream um, until I gave her that. So I'm gonna make Sydney a sandwich. Also give her some pea pods she's been liking those a lot recently and then I'll try to see what else maybe I think I want some avocado so I think I'll give her some avocado too but she basically deconstructs her sandwich she'll eventually eat it all but it's whatever <laughs> all right so I'm gonna make myself a sandwich as well I'm gonna make it on these wheat bulky roll type things that I got and basically I'm gonna make mine the same way but I do not like the dilly chicken breast I just I don't know I like the buffalo thin and trim but that's the only like deli meat that I'll eat I'm, I'm super weird but she is moaning loving her pickle <laughs> she she just loves anything like sour and crazy like that so I did have a slice of the apple bread that I made last night I'm probably not gonna share it with you guys the recipe because I don't know I think the way the recipe had me make it like it looks amazing and the flavors are okay but the way it had me made it would make it was putting like a layer of the apples um, in the middle of the bread with some cinnamon and brown sugar and then put more batter on and then put apples on top. I think I should have mixed the cinnamon brown sugar apple mixture throughout um, and it would have made it like more flavorful and moist. But right now it's a little bit dry and a little bland because the apples weren't mixed in. I don't know. Just the recipe that I used. My friend used the same recipe but she mixed in the apples kind of on accident but it turned out really good so I don't know I mean I think it would be really good that way but anyway so I had some apple bread while I did my makeup and while Sydney napped and then the eggs in the morning but let's see I have to hurry up and make my sandwich because I would like to go run some errands so I'm gonna use some mayo and mustard American cheese a little pickle spinach some tomatoes and I'm going to do some avocado and get this some of this to Sydney please please yum all right I feel like the sandwich looks amazing I'm all about the bulky roll now because I went to my friends and she made me a sandwich on I don't even know what kind of bread she used, but it was so good. And I was like, ooh, I, you know, instead of using regular bread, I need to buy some of those. Sometimes I don't like to buy it because I don't want it to go to waste because it's just me. I mean, I could give it to Sydney too, but anyway. I'm going to give her some of the avocado. Yeah. So basically, I like stand here at this little counter, standing up, eating my lunch. And if I do not stand up and eat my lunch, then I sit down on the couch after she's eaten and then she eats half my lunch anyway. Um, I guess I could like bring her in and sit her on my table, but my table's occupied by my computer right now. So this is how we do it. Mmm. Is that good, baby? Peace. What? What are you eating? What else are you eating? What is that in your hand? Is that bread? Mm. Mm. And water. Sydney has the worst food envy. Whatever I'm eating, it could be literally the same exact sandwich as her. Nope, she wants what I have. Like it doesn't even matter. 
Aka. What, baby? Aka. You your avocado? And your peas? She's been okay. eating less now that she gets older. And she's teething, so I'm like, I don't know. I mean, she still eats a lot, but she's been eating less lately than she used to. Uh, me? 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 No, me. Yeah, you got ready your bed? I love you so much. Eat? You're all done? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Can you eat a bite of chicken, please? Be a good girl and eat a bite of chicken? Well, oh, that's bread. Iced, um, as skinny as you can make it, salted caramel mocha, please. Chocolate cream on that. No, thank you. Okay, is there anything else I can do for you? That will do it. Okay, you want the caramel drizzle on the salt topping? Yeah, thank you. Lovely, okay, 535 is your total. Perfect. Guys, um, I think it's a good thing that maybe I'm not having another baby anytime soon because I think I would go bald because my regrowth is still only like right to there, right there all around my head. It's ridiculous. Um, it's almost four o'clock and I should not be getting um, a Starbucks. I should have actually gotten it before, like right before we went into Marshall's Home Goods. But I was like, no, I don't want to spend money today on, you know, $5 on a freaking coffee. And here I am, four o'clock, getting myself a coffee. I'll regret it or only drink like five sips of it. Thank you. Is there any way I could have a napkin, please? Awesome. You want a few? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Guys, I have no idea what Sydney's gonna be for Halloween and we are not that far away from it. So I need to hurry up and think about it. I'm kind of struggling right now because Babies R Us is where I shopped last year and they had so many like little baby clothes or baby Halloween costumes and now I'm gonna have to just shop online because I feel like there aren't many options anywhere else, but I'm so excited. Oh, oh. The first sip, I was like, goopy caramel, crunchy salt and sugar. Mmm. Seriously, so good. Sydney's still working on the veggie straws. <laughs> and I'm gonna drink my coffee and head into Nordstrom Rack. Let's go. All right, so we are home. It's 5.25 and I am just starting dinner, but I'm gonna make chicken pot pie and it is my absolute favorite, favorite fall meal. You know, because I've told you, I'm like getting aggressive pointing a knife at you. I told you in my fall favorites video that my chicken pot pie was my favorite. So that is what I'm having for dinner tonight. So I thought I would kind of show you what I do. Right now, chopping up my vegetables, cutting carrots, so basically I have a pot of water and I use um, like chicken, what are they, bullion cubes. You can also use the packet. Um, so basically it is a one to one ratio of either packets or cubes. So I have three cups of water boiling right now. I don't use an exact, exact recipe I used to and I just, I don't know, I've made it so many times that I like, I just kind of know what I'm doing and I make it, you know, of how I like it. So I'm putting three of the bouillon cubes in the boiling water. I am chopping up baby carrots right now. Um, and then I'm gonna chop up some celery and some onion as well. Also put in frozen peas 
and I'm gonna put in my chicken. So I've got rotisserie chicken here that I just um, cut up. So I'm gonna put that in just to warm it up. I have some canned corn here and I'll just put that in. So I have carrot, celery, onion, peas, corn for my vegetables. And I'm just gonna give that a mix and then go ahead and strain this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and strain this, but into a bowl and reserve the liquid because I want to have my liquid. So I have some melted butter in the pot now and I'm gonna make a roux with just melted butter, equal parts melted butter and sugar, or sorry, equal parts melted butter and flour to make a roux. Stir that all up. I probably should've done it slowly. All right, and see, and that liquid is like already nice and thick. And then I'm gonna add my reserved veggies and chicken right into this and this will be our filling. So good, so easy you guys. And it's, it's literally like the best I've ever had. All right, so then I pour all of my filling into the Pyrex dish and I put my puff pastry that I've stabbed with a fork so that it doesn't puff up and burn on me. Put my puff pastry sheet right on top. And then I bake it according to the directions for this, which is on 400 for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. But I basically just watch it until it's golden brown. It's usually about like 20 minutes. All right, we're in business. How stinking good does that look? So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so at this point, I'm absolutely starving at 6.30, but it's so hot. I'm just gonna wait until Sydney goes to bed in about a half hour and pour myself a glass of wine to go with it. Sydney's currently, I like, you know, chopped it all up, make sure it was, I like cooled it all down. So Sydney is currently going to be eating that with water. By the way, I've been drinking water behind the scenes, just just in case you're concerned. I don't really drink enough water, I know it, I know that. And I'm also going to take some vitamins. Um, I meant to do that with lunch, but I'm gonna show you um, what I'm gonna have for my vitamins, but I'm gonna eat um, my vitamins with my dinner because you're supposed to eat your, um, take your vitamins with uh, food because that way you can absorb the fat soluble vitamins as well. So I'm gonna take the Energy B12, the Oli or Oli, however you pronounce that, woman's multivitamin, and these taste so good. I know I mentioned them in a blog before, but anyway, I'm gonna take two of these and then two of the B12s as well um, with dinner. So I'm actually gonna keep those on the counter. And I know it's weird that I'm not eating dinner with her, but I don't know. I just, I like, I don't want to stand up and eat dinner. I know I can plop her in the, um, in the living room, but it's just more relaxing and more enjoyable if I eat dinner by myself, <laughs> as awful as that sounds. Sometimes I do like wheel her wheelchair in, what's wrong with me? Your, your hand itches. Oh God, she makes such a mess. Um, sometimes I do wheel her over there and then sit down and eat with her and that's fine. It's very enjoyable that way, but because it's so late and the chicken pot pie is still super hot, I'm, I just might as well wait the 25 minutes till she's in bed. She's eating dinner so late. I usually eat after she goes to bed anyway. Is that so yummy? Mm. Carrot? Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. This kid, she eats so good. I'm so proud. Mm. Okay, so Sydney is having her nighttime cup of milk. She has probably like four ounces of milk or so. I don't know, I'm not specific. I just feel, put a little bit in there. And it's whole milk still until she's two. It is dark outside. Yeah, we don't go outside at night. It's too dark. Okay, already 
like in comfy clothes, pajamas. And then I am basically going to sit down, edit a video, eat my chicken pot pie. Thank you.